Today I'm going to share with you a few common kidney stone symptoms as well as what you can do to prevent ever getting this problem. Now before I begin, down below I am giving away a free video based guide all about dietary supplements as well as alternative medicine. Now just like an automobile needs a, an oil filter to kind of clean oil, your body needs something to clean blood. Do you have any idea what what body part is used to do this? Yeah, it's, it's the kidneys. And the second job in the kidneys is to create urine that is actually used to eliminate a lot of unwanted material. There's also this tube that drains from the kidneys into the bladder, kind of carries the urine, and that's known as your ureter. Now what if, what if something blocked that tube and instructed the flow of urine? Well, this is what's known as a kidney stone. And uh, these stones are usually made of salts and other minerals. They could be like really, really tiny in size, or they can even be as big as golf balls. Now, when something bad happens in the human body, most often there's going to be a warning signal taking place. And that warning signal is pain. Pain usually is felt on the side of the body between the ribs and the hips when it comes to kidney stones. Also, a person could feel more nauseous, like they want to throw up. That's another uh, symptom right there. Also, someone's urine can have like a really unpleasant scent to it. Uh, or it can even be blood in the urine too. It's also possible that a person will not even be able to urinate because the pathway is blocked. Or it could be a lot of pain when someone tries to urinate. And lastly, a person can have a high temperature. And this could indicate like an infection. And that's not good at all. Now, if you want to prevent kidney stones, it's a good idea to know what causes it. And one of the biggest causes is uh, something that's needed to dilute whatever is causing the stones. you have any idea what that is, what somebody would need to, to dilute it? Some fluid? It's water, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, people don't consume enough water they usually get very very tired and also it's a, it's a big contributor to kidney stones and uh, the rule of thumb is really the 8 by 8 rule which is to, to drink 8 glasses of water that are 8 ounces each in size but of course in drinking more than that it's always good water is just a great thing it's great for your immune system too uh, the other rule of thumb is if somebody's urine is bright yellow <laughs> that means that they, they definitely uh, need to drink more water too Another way someone can reduce the chance of this problem would be to be active. And if somebody is, is very uh, lazy, lies around a lot, doesn't do a whole lot, then not only is this unhealthy, but it actually can cause bones to release more calcium, which can increase the chance of a kidney stone. Other risk factors can include like high blood pressure, eating too much sugar, as well as digestive problems. Now, if you are the type of person who is interested in health, which I think you are, then I do highly recommend you check out a free video guide I created um, all about uh, dietary supplements and how they can be used to, to really further improve your health and you know what to look for when it comes to shopping for these products as well as what to avoid, how to save a bunch of money, and a bunch of other really nifty cool ideas. It talks about that as well as some really interesting alternative medicines that can do some great things for yourself. It's also a ton of fun. I had a blast making. I'm sure you're going to love it. It's completely free. If you want to learn more, just click on the link below the video. And, uh, well, as always, I, I really appreciate you, you investing your time in this video and, and uh, checking out what I have to offer, being open-minded. I hope it might have been helpful to a couple people. If you have any other thoughts, uh, please leave a comment. I really appreciate comments. And if you liked the video, uh, then please uh, give me the thumbs up. And until next time, cheers, and uh, take care of yourself.